Hello students. We have already completed uh, taking the chapter 1 to 5. Already I have finished. And I hope you have written all the question answers and the word meaning. So today I am going to uh, revise the chapter that is the barber and the uh, woodcutter. Do you know who is the barber? One who cut the hair is the barber and the woodcutter is one who cut the tree. So the, wood, uh, the barber was uh, a very proud man and the woodcutter was very poor man. So you remember the story. I will just explain uh, if you are remembering well and good. Otherwise, you can just listen to the story of barber and the woodcutter. Many years ago in Arabia, there was a barber. He cut the hair beautifully and trimmed the beard neatly. And many people came to him like landlord, noblemen and officers and sultan were all his customers. The barber became, because of this reason, the barber became very proud and he despised the poor and the simple. Despise means, it is written here, despising means uh, the uh, looking down upon the people. Okay. Uh, one day, uh, a wood, uh, this woodcutter came to him with a bundle of chopped wood on his donkey. The barber was standing outside his, uh, in front of his shop and after the bar, after a bargaining, the barber agreed to buy, uh, the all wood for the two silver coins. Two silver coins. Then he wanted to get all the wood of the woodcutter. So they have both agreed. As the woodcutter needed money, he really agreed. So he was, and it, we have already told that the woodcutter was very poor man and he wanted the money. So he began to take off the firewood one by one. The barber watched him very cunningly. What is the meaning of cunningly? Clever, deceiving people. Cunning people. Okay. After taking off all the wood, uh, said the barber, please give the two silver coins. You have agreed that you are supposed to give Two silver coins to me. Please give me. Then what he, what the woodcutter told. You have not given me all the wood. You did not give me the saddle. What is the meaning of saddle? Seat for the rider. Seat for the rider. You have not given me that. Please give me that. Then only I will give the two silver coins. So finally after all the bargaining. The poor woodcutter. Uh, had to give the whole piece of wood and the, along with the saddle to the barber. So the poor barber, in spite of all the objections, the barber took the saddles along with the firewood before he gave. Okay, and what happened? The woodcutter needed very much money. Moreover, it was getting dark. It was also getting dark. So he had to go to the house. So whatever it is, he gave that saddle and the fall wood. The woodcutter knew that the barber was cheated very badly. And he straight away, the barber, the woodcutter straight away went home. He went to the sultan and told everything what happened to him. The sultan, it was true, the barber was cheated. The sultan understood that the barber was very badly cheated by the, uh, the woodcutter was very badly cheated by the barber. So Sultan felt very sorry for the woodcutter and told him how to teach a lesson. How to teach a lesson to whom? To the barber. So the next morning, the next morning what happened? The next morning the woodcutter went to the barber along with his horse. He went and told the barber that I would like to have a shave for myself and a shave for my friend who is standing outside. So the woodcutter, uh, the barber agreed with the two silver coins. He told that I can give the two silver coins to you. So they both agreed. So first he shaved the barber and he asked, where is your friend? Please call him inside. So he told that my friend won't be coming inside. 
and she will be outside. You have to go outside and shave him. So the barber came out with the woodcutter. The woodcutter pointed to the donkey and that said, that is my friend. So the barber got very angry. Why he became very angry? Because he has never shaved a donkey. He was he used to shave and cut the hair of human beings. Now I am going to shave the donkey. What you have this possible? He was very angry with the uh, woodcutter. So he told you made an agreement and you are supposed to do it. So at the meanwhile the discussion was going on. Who came? The meanwhile the discussion was going on. Sultan came to him and told that. You have made an agreement with the woodcutter that you will give two silver coins and you will shave both him and his friend. So you have to, you are supposed to do, supposed to, uh, supposed to honor. Honor means honor the, honor it. So Sultan and uh, so any somehow he has to shave the donkey. While he was shaving the donkey, all people, all the crowd came to him and said and laughed loudly. So he was feeling very upset, very bad. So he said, Sultan reached. So soon the Sultan reached the place and said, If you want, if you don't want to cut or shave the um, donkey, you can give the saddle back to the woodcutter. So he was ready to hear that and he felt happy that he went inside his room and took the saddle and gave to the woodcutter. So woodcutter was feeling very very happy. So what do you learn from this lesson? We should never cheat the people and we should uh, respect the poor and the needy. Always love our work. And also at last you know what the, uh, what the barber learned? What he learned from this lesson? The barber learned a lesson. He never tried to cheat others. So after this incident what happened? He was a changed person. He was a transformed person and he had never cheated anybody in his life. That is a great is a one, one of the very good story for you dear children and we will just uh, revise the exercises. First of all the word meanings. These are the word meanings. You will be learning it or writing it in your copy. And also here fill in the blanks and true or false. You will be one by one. You will be learning it. And already I have given the first answers of the uh, lesson. I hope you have written it in your copy. And you will be learning the first answer thoroughly. And take the uh, who said to him. Who said to whom. You haven't ordered our agreement. Who said this. The barber said to the woodcutter and not a single piece of wood is left on the saddle. Who said to whom? The woodcutter said to the barber. It is true that the barber had cheated you but he is right and has broken no law. Who said to whom? The sultan said to the woodcutter. These are the things you will be laying it. And also there is subject and predicate. You will be revising uh, subject and predicate also. I have given you the opposites of the words. What is the opposite of word? Proud, humble and beautiful, ugly, hate, love, friend, back. These are the things you will be learning and also match the following with the uh, right answer. I have given you in the previous video. You will be going through all these exercises, word meanings and question answers and you will be learning it thoroughly. So I hope you are revising the lesson and writing it everything in your fair copy. Thank you children.